This is a sketchbook I used in the fall of uh, 2016 on a trip to Southeast Asia. Uh, yeah, I drew this with uh, a soft graphite pencil on the inside cover. And the first sketches here are done in soft pencil. That means 5B or 6B. And uh, when I think I'm not going to have enough time to complete something very quickly, I usually use pencil because it goes it goes faster. Various scenes from Thailand at the beginning of the trip: street scenes, rooftops of Penang. I like to use the full, a double spread, um, to get a more panoramic uh, view of the scene. This is a very quick watercolor uh, done on the coast of an island in Sumatra. You can see how fast it was done. When handling sky and uh, the action of the sea, I like to do it very quickly and it turns out looking a little more natural rather than laboring over something like that. This is a uh, colored pencil, uh, sepia, sepia colored. This is a pen and ink uh, drawing of course done in a guest house in Sumatra. It's a little more difficult working in pen and ink for sketches in that you can't erase, but there are areas here I moved in with a, a very smooth sort of watercolor, uh, I'm sorry, uh, sa um, sandpaper to uh, remove some of the, the cross hatching uh, to lighten that area up. Let's study of architecture in Sumatra. This was done using colored pencil, just a view out the back behind a guest house in Borneo, looking out over a, a kind of swampy, swampy area. Uh, here's a double spread but two different sketches. On the left there's boats on the Mahakam River on the right more architecture of the houses right on the banks of the river done in prismacolor. This is done in colored pencil but the kind which is aqueous in other words it's water soluble. You can see in this spot here where some water got on that area of drawing and so it, it bleeds. This can be useful if you want to have wash, do a line drawing in color and then have wash as well. You can just come in later with some fresh water. Uh, yeah, another colored pencil drawing of uh, trees on the banks of the river in Borneo. And speaking of watercolor technique, I'll be doing a tutorial later on but just to point out here, you can see the areas on the roof, on the side of the buildings, which I've left white mm, to illustrate the uh, sunlight striking it. I don't like to use the liquid mask that they sell, uh, that wa some watercolorists use in order to block out and protect areas of white paper. The problem is with a, a sketch like this, which is more impressionistic when you take off that mask you rub off the mask liquid on um, the division line between the white paper and the painted surface is just too sharp whereas here it's a little bit softer and uh, in keeping with the character of, of the drawing.